Who hasn't been talking about the Adams Family spinoff Wednesday? Ever since we watched that show, we've been nothing but an absolute big fan of Jenna Ortega. After seeing how big of a hit the show was, we knew we could easily expect another season. So we went mining for Clue. In today's video, we'll discuss everything we know about Wednesday season two. So let's dive in. First up, when can we expect season two to drop? Finally, after 10 miserable weeks, Netflix has finally confirmed that there will be a second season of Wednesday. On January 6, 2023, they put out a video in which Jenna Ortega as Wednesday says over clips from the first season and fan event. To the tune of Lady Gaga's Bloody Mary, Netflix announced that it'd be releasing a new season of Stranger Things. That's it. Sadly, there's no date or other information, just the confirmation of the season. But that's okay. We can make it work. Co-creator Miles Miller said in an interview with Netflix's To Do that it's been amazing for him to make a show that people care about all over the world. Plus, he also mentioned that he's excited for Wednesday's hard journey to continue in season two. Peter Freilander, Netflix's head of U.S. and Canada scripted series, told Variety in December 2022 that it's quite encouraging to see how engaged people are with these shows. Engagement is the main key to this, and Netflix is trying its best to put more effort into that. Not only do people want to dance, but they also want to dress up and buy makeup to look like Wednesday Adam. We honestly think that the resurgence is something that's been around for a long time, but it's never been this clear. Followed by is Wednesday moving to Amazon Prime. If this is true, why would something like that happen? Netflix just won't stop making one of its most popular shows. Well, Wednesday is an MGM show, and we know that Amazon and MGM merged in March 2022. Because of this, a lot of MGM's content moved to Amazon, but not all of it. The Handmaid's Tale is an MGM show, but it didn't start there until September 2022, and it wasn't the only one. Hulu still has both old and new seasons of the show, and Hulu still calls it its original. Keeping that in mind, we could see that happening in this series. Most likely, Netflix will still keep the show, but it might not be exclusive to the streaming giant. At the same time, agreements made before the merger mean that Amazon won't get exclusive rights. We'll need to keep a close eye on this. Getting the rights to the series would be a big deal for Amazon, as fans of Prime Video will stick with it as long as the quality stays the same. Next, who's returning for the new season? We obviously can't imagine a second season without Wednesday and her right-hand man, Thing. So we hope that Ortega and Thing's right-hand man, Victor Dorobantu, will want to come back. Percy Hines White, who plays Xavier Thorpe, who she almost fell in love with, is sure to be there with her. Even though he was turned down, the poor guy may have had a chance now that Tyler is out of the picture. Or is he? When we last saw Wednesday's sort of boyfriend who turned into a villain, he was in jail. But something hints to us that the guttural growl he let out at the end could lead to a breakout. If that's the case, we have no doubt that Hunter Doohan will put on his hide skin again for season two. Miss Thornhill played by Christina Ricci could come back because she didn't quite reach her goal. Larissa Weems played by Gwendolyn Christie might have bitten the big one, but there was something unclear about how she died. It's possible that she could come back, resurrections happen in this world, and her story arc seemed to end a little too soon. The Sandman, in which Gwendolyn Christie also stars, has been picked up for second season, so there could be some scheduling problem. We're hoping this isn't true because Christie is as good as both Lucifer and Weems, and we need both of them. What happened to poor Dr. Kinbot was clear. The Hyde attack probably killed Ricky Lynn Holmes' character, who was cut and bruised. She probably won't be back for season two. Not to mention, there's gonna be a double dose of betrayal, too. We talked about loose strings, and boy, did they flap in the wind. Even though she liked pain, Wednesday didn't seem to enjoy the heartbreak she felt when she found out that her boyfriend was the monster that was terrorizing Nevermore. As a a double attack of betrayal, he was controlled by Miss Thornhill, the teacher's favorite, who turned out to be a bitter northerner with a grudge against the outcasts. We don't think Tyler will stay her pet that she controls, but we're almost sure he got away. And even more, sure he'll come back into Wednesday's life as a friend, a lover, or an enemy. However, has not been yet decided. Tyler actor Hunter Doohan, though, has his own ideas about what'll happen to his character. In an exclusive 
exclusive interview with Digital Spy, Bill Han was sure that his troubled character Tyler was able to stay out of trouble with the law. Tyler's comment about his season one arc could help us figure out which version of Tyler he's good or bad in season two. He thinks that Miss Thornhill was in charge of him and then Tyler had to go talk Wednesday into going along with their plan, which he thinks Tyler did pretty well. If he really was being used, it could mean that he has a chance to make things right. That is if he can get away from Miss Thornhill. But there could be other bad guys that we should watch out for. Up next, we might get the morning songs back. The show mentioned a few times that Bianca's siren mother ran a group like a cult called Morning Songs, which could attract new members. Bianca's mother forced her to come along with them so that they could make a stronger case. There's definitely space and room for them to become the main bad guys in season two, and we're keeping an eye on this. The mystery texture is one thing that needs to be cleared up. Not long after Xavier gives Wednesday a brand new phone, she gets a mysterious threatening text message with photos of herself that look like they were taken by a stalker. The sender is unknown, but this is the kind of danger that'll make Wednesday heart sink with joy. It's also something that'll definitely help move along the plot of season two. After all, the last episode of the show had a couple of twists that left fans guessing about who that mysterious text was from, but that won't be enough to satisfy our curiosity. Let's talk about the Nevermore principle theory. Since Wednesday and Morticia's relationship is at the center of season two, it's likely that the two will be seen together a lot more. This could only happen if Morticia was at Nevermore Academy more often. This story teased by co-creator Al Goff supports the idea that Morticia Adams will become the new principal of Nevermore in the second season of Wednesday. That'll make Morticia and Wednesday's problems worse by putting them back in close proximity. Since principal Larissa Weems died in a tragic way in the season one finale on Wednesday, Nevermore needs a new leader, and Morticia Adams would be a good choice. When Wednesday and Morticia are together, it's much easier to see how their relationship changes over time. But Wednesday season two can't use the murder of the Gates in 1992 to bring Zeta Jones' character back to Jericho. So having Morticia work in the interim principal at Nevermore is the most natural way for the women of the Adams family tree to see each other more often. Even though the Adams family matriarch being Nevermore's principal would make Wednesday and her mother's rivalry worse, it forced the characters to face their problems and help their changing relationship move forward. Moving on, season two needs to expand on Wednesday's story arc a bit more. For Wednesday to do this, season two will need a bigger story arc that focuses on the character. Season one had to spend a lot of time introducing Wednesday to Nevermore Academy, the season's main mystery and other characters. It also had to show how her family is now and what happened in the past. Since much of this groundwork has already been done, season two of Wednesday needs to focus on developing Wednesday herself and how she fits into the Adams Family movie's tradition of loving the macabre without sacrificing her good intention. Season one started this contrast by contrasting Wednesday's chaotic problem solving, like when she fought Bianca, played by Joy Sunday, and tortured Tyler, played by Hunter Duhan, and her work to stop the Hyde monster. To give this next season something to work with actually get better as the relationship changes. The Adams Family movies have set up season two of Wednesday to be a traditional but different from the first season. The movies show that for Wednesday to stay true to herself and family, she needs to be allowed to be both less than and more than a heroic paragon. If the show lives up to this promise, Wednesday's second episode is going to be a memorable one. Lastly, fingers crossed for a little more romance in season two. There could be more romance in store, even if it's just for one person. Goff said that more could be learned in the second season about whether Tyler really liked Wednesday or was just following Laurel's plan. Goff thinks that Tyler doesn't really know everything about himself, and there's definitely a primal attraction here. It makes us all wonder if those feelings were even real. Miller also announced how Wednesday is not interested in romance, which is why people like her. She seems intimidating, kind of amused in a way that a scientist might be, or she's interested in what draws people to each other, but she doesn't really understand why people are so invested in her. Whatever the case seems to be, we can't wait to see more of Wednesday and Tyler in the coming season. On that note, that's a wrap for today's video. Do you think we'll get a season two of Wednesday by the end of 2023? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.